Hello and welcome. You're watching NDTV on our YouTube channel now. This is the Top Story segment. I'm Sonal Mehrotra Kapoor. Well, it's been almost two months that uh, JNU has been on strike. No classes have happened. And that's the story all of you have voted on today in our Top Story segment. 55% of you have said that you want to know more about the classes which could resume today. And it is indeed a could at the moment. It is indeed a big question mark. So what's really happened so far? At the moment, we know that the VC over the weekend made a statement and made it very clear that classes will resume starting Monday. That's the new winter uh, semester, which will begin. He also extended the date of the registration process, which has been hauled up again. But while the VC and the administration say they will begin classes today, the JNU Student Union is not in agreement and they say that is not going to happen. As we speak, it's about around 10.30 this morning and at the moment, no student and no teacher has turned up to any of the classes in the administration and the academic block in, inside the campus. Our colleague is there and she spoke with some teachers as well and some students who all seem to be in absolute agreement that no classes will take place. Outside the campus at the main gates, which have been pretty much... Uh, the center perhaps in a place where we see a lot of security presence at eight o'clock in the morning there was no police present there the roads leading up to JNU were also open but just about nine o'clock this morning we got reports that a fresh lot of Delhi police has been deployed at the gates and the gates were shut again now this in the backdrop of what happened on the 4th and the 5th is extremely crucial. It makes the developments over the next couple of hours extremely important and sensitive to the situation of JNU. Now, why is that? That's because remember the last time violence took place inside the JNU campus, it was on the issue of resuming classes. It was on the issue of registration process starting out. And today, if the VC says he's going to do it, regardless, People are tense inside the campus and also outside. So that's a situation we are very carefully watching out for. I, I have said this in earlier videos as well to you that what happened at, inside the JNU campus was not related to any of the other protests in the country. The resistance towards CAA, NCR and NPR, uh, NRC and NPR that has been raising in the country. But that is with the issue of student fee hike, the hostel fee hike. And with that in mind, for the past two months, there have been no classes inside JNU. And if the students are to be believed, they're not going to happen even today. The students have been very clear. They are saying nothing less than an absolute resignation and the removal of the vice chancellor is going to cut ice with them. They want a complete rollback on the fee hike and also the removal of the vice chancellor. In fact, we spoke some time back with the JNU TA, that's the JNU Teachers Association, the president of that association to understand according to them which way the day is going to be. They said that they are also boycotting classes. They stand in solidarity with the JNU Student Union. They say because until security situation is restored, we are scared of going to classes. What if we are attacked again? Also, even last semester classes and exams were not done. So how come they are starting the next semester? Some important points there. Also, they're saying that 500 professors are part of the JNUTA and we are boycotting classes. The VC did not even have a dialogue with us or with the student union when he announced that he will resume classes. He says that some of the students and teachers are with him. But who are these students? Who are these teachers? We do not know. We want that list to be made public. Also, the JNUT is saying that they will be meeting at 12 noon today with the HRD ministry to express the problems that they have faced so far and also for a complete rollback of the fee hike and impartial inquiry into what happened on the 4th and the 5th and also the removal of the vice chancellor. So important there, the details that are coming up. The issue with which the students are boycotting is different from the issue with which the teachers are boycotting classes today. The teachers are saying they just don't feel safe enough to go back to the classes and thus they're not going to do so. They also stand in solidarity with the student union on the issue of hostel fee hike and also saying that how come 
The VC did not consult any of the stakeholders before he decided and declared that classes will resume. The strike, remember, was called by the students. So it's only the student union that can actually call off the strike. But the VC has gone ahead to say that classes will happen. But that has no support inside the campus. That's why I'm saying this is going to be a tense day, a sensitive time really to look into what has been on inside the campus. Now talking about the JNU uh, movement really and the violence that took place, another important development regarding this case is happening. And that is the parliamentary body meeting that is taking place uh, with the panel on home ministry. So parliament has lots of uh, panels which looks into and can summon people and can ask them questions, perhaps decipher for themselves parliamentarians what exactly is happening in the country. And this panel on home ministry, which is headed by Anand Sharma of the Congress party, has now decided to summon the home secretary and also the Delhi police commissioner and to ask him about what's been happening on a couple of issues. Number one, we know they will be asking him about the law and order situation the protests and that went violent in JNU, at Jamia, in Silampur and other areas in the capital. Why that took place, why the police could not prevent it. Second, they'll be asking the police commissioner some tough questions on inside violence that took place inside Jamia and inside JNU. There is a very, voices are growing on not just the fact that Delhi police could not stop it, but the fact that they were actually hand in glove. And thirdly, about the way the investigations are going on on this front. Remember at the moment uh, where one of the people who became the poster image for the violence inside campus is Aishi Ghosh of uh, GNU Student Union President of, of SFI inside the campus. She uh, has actually been named and blamed by the Delhi police for causing violence but that is for the incidents of the 4th of January. So those in middle of all of this while we are getting no answers from Delhi police, while the students have been asking questions and not getting any answers from Delhi police, the parliamentarians today will be questioning them. So that's an important development to watch out for. So that really is it when you come to the protests that have been happening inside uh, in the protests and the boycott that has been happening inside the JNU campus really. If we come back to the question about whether or not classes will happen, well, one thing is clear, it is going to be a tense day. Whether classes will resume or no, we don't know at this point. Uh, remember, ABVP had earlier, and this is interesting, about a month back actually, we were there and we were broadcasting Youthquake from inside the hostel rooms of uh, GNU. And there, sitting in solidarity with the student body, the ABVP was in agreement that the protests must continue and that they opposed the fee hike as well. But today, will they stand with the VC and the administration and ensure that classes take place? We do not know. This is exactly what happened before the violence started inside the campus. So today, on a day like this, we really hope no violence will take place. Things will be calm and rest. We hope that uh, transparency is there and we are able to understand what exactly is happening inside the campus. That's it on today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.